recess spotlight has become one of the most common items to be installed in the electrical industry and the eye joist has become the most common flooring solution for the residential sector. Now Collingwood have always been right at the front of the pack when it comes to developing and improving their recessed lighting products. Coming up with some really innovative solutions to make sure that their spots are resistant to the spread of fire without losing the compact design. So it kind of makes sense that they're now making sure that their recessed lights are fully compliant when being used in installations that have been constructed using eye joists. They have been busily getting their fittings tested against eye joists that have been manufactured by Staircraft and James Jones, two of the biggest eye joist manufacturers in the country, to make sure that they can be safely installed into buildings that use these structural components. And they're carrying out further tests for other eye joist manufacturers also. So on the bench in front of us here, we've got a variety of fittings from the Collingwood H2 and H4 light range, along with examples of the H2 and H4 Pro range. All of these can be safely used in installations using eye joists from Staircraft and James Jones. So you've got the usual Collingwood design, quality and features that we love, along with the peace of mind that comes from knowing that they'll perform as expected in the event of a fire. This includes the tiltable light fittings. And this is great news because when you move from a fixed fitting to a tilt type, it becomes a lot harder for the manufacturer to maintain the fire rating of that. But there's no concerns with this at all because it's passed the relevant tests for Collingwood. Now, if this is the first time that you're hearing about light fittings needing to be approved for use with eye joist manufacturers, let me give you just a little bit more information on this. Towards the end of last year, the NHBC laid out some new guidelines stating that unless a recessed light fitting had been independently tested and approved for use against a ceiling and floor structure built with eye joists, then new properties that had the fittings installed would not be signed off and therefore could not be occupied. The only solution at this stage would be to replace all of the fittings that hadn't passed the relevant testing, maybe use fire hoods instead, or take a brave pill and just wait it out and see if the fittings passed the test in a fairly soon fashion. Now for a recessed light to be classed as fire rated, it has to pass a test to make sure that in the event of a fire, the ceiling that it was installed to would last for 30, 60 or 90 minutes, depending on the type of ceiling it was being tested against. And the testing was always carried out on ceilings that had been built using traditional solid timber joists. So there was no way of knowing if they would perform in the same way when using eye joists. Now at first glance this may seem a little bit unfair on the electricians. Why should we be the ones who seem to pay the price for this? Well the answer is that we don't work in isolation. When we pierce through a fire barrier we have a responsibility to make sure that we haven't compromised the integrity of that barrier. The next common objection is why does using eye joists make a difference to the performance of the light fitting? Well, the key to understanding this issue is that when a ceiling is rated at 30, 60 or 90 minutes, it's not referring to how long the plasterboard needs to last before it gives way. It's stating how long the entire structure, comprising of support beams, plasterboard and flooring, needs to last before the whole thing collapses. So all of a sudden we can see that when we install recessed lights, we actually contribute to a system of construction and our fittings now play a vital part in either limiting or allowing the spread of fire. So that's why it becomes even more important that we take greater care when it comes to selecting recessed light fittings to go into ceilings. Of course, it's really reassuring to see manufacturers like Collingwood taking the necessary steps to prove that their fittings are safe to install. And they currently have one of the widest ranges of fittings available that have been approved for use in ceiling structures manufactured with eye joists from Staircraft and Jones Jones. So what that means is that you're not restricted to a small number of fittings. There's a variety of styles, types, light sources, colors, finishes, and beam angles available. Which means that wherever you're looking to install a fitting, you'll find one that not only gives the required light output, looks good, and does the day-to-day -day job you require of it, it will also bring you peace of mind, knowing that in the worst of circumstances, should a fire break out, it will perform correctly and keep the residents of a property safe and allow them the correct amount of time to safely evacuate the building. So this issue surrounding eye joists and the use of recessed lights, it's not something to panic or worry about. It's just a matter of accepting it and taking steps to make sure that your installation complies and knowing that you've got great manufacturers like Collingwood backing you up and making sure that their products will perform as required just helps to remove one more area of concern from the day job. Thank you very much for watching.